figures and doing a lot of great work in the Quran on what's called ring structures. And what ring structures are, are entire surahs that are actually symmetrical. They're entirely symmetrical. And you know the Quran is spoken, right? It's, it's, it's oral tradition. And in an oral tradition, imagine that I said to you 20 sentences, and my 20th sentence is directly related to my first, and my 19th to my second, and my 18th to my third, and my 17th to my fourth. Is that even possible for a human being? Subhanallah. You notice, was sama idatil buruj is the first ayah. Allah swears by the sky. In the last ayah, He says, Bal huwa Quranum majid fi lawh al mahfuz. It's in lawh mahfuz. Where is the lawh mahfuz? It's in the sky. It began with the sky and ended with what makes the sky so... Why is the sky fortified? Why does he say it has forts in it? Because it has the most protected thing in it. What's the most protected thing? Fi lawhin mahfuz. It began with buruj, which is a fort. And it ended with the word mahfuz, which means protected. What is the purpose of a fort? Protection. That's the first ayah and the last ayah. He says, وَالْيَوْمِ mawud wa shahidin wa mashhud. The day that has been promised. What is the day that has been promised? The day of judgment, the second last ayah of the surah, Wallahu min wara'ihim muhid. Allah is completely encircling them. He's right behind them, is about to encircle them. When he encircles them, what day is that? The day of judgment. Qutila ashabul ukhdud and nari datil bukud, the people of Ukhdud were killed. That's the third state, third passage. The people of Ukhdud were killed. And then in the third last section, Hal ataka hadithul junood, Fir'auna wa Thamud. What happened to Fir'aun and his armies? They were killed. And then he says, that in the next section he says, وَمَا نَقَبُوا مِنْهُمْ إِلَّا أَنْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَمِيدِ الَّذِي لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ Al-Aziz, Al-Hamid, names of who? Allah, الَّذِي لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The one who owns the kingdom of the skies and the earth. Description of who? Allah. Wallahu ala kulli shay'in shaheed. Allah is witness over all things. Another description of Allah. The fourth last section. Innahu huwa yubdi'u wa yu'eed. Wa huwa al-ghafoorul al wadood. Dhul arsh al-majeed. Fa'alun lima yureed. That is also a description of who? Allah. You go on and Allah says, Inna alladhina fatanu al-mu'minina wal-mu'minat. Thumma lam yatubu. Falahum azabu jahannam. Walahum azabu al-hariq. Those who, those who put the believers in, on trial, they will have the punishment of hell and they will burn. And the, this is the fifth section. And the fifth last section is, Inna batsha rabbika la shadeed. When your master grabs, it is intense. And then there's the middle ayah of the entire surah. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْكَبِيرِ The middle jewel in this surah is believers will be in Jannah. He did that for the entire Qur'an. I'm mesmerized. I'm just... Uh, what? I was in his office in Kuwait not too long ago, and we're sitting there talking about Quran, and he goes, yeah, I was watching one of your videos. I mean, totally, how could this not be from God? And he said it in such an adorable white guy accent. <laughs> like, and I was like, I wish I recorded you, because it, it can only be from God, I mean, look at it. <laughs> and when he talks in Arabic, you won't know, Laysa Arabiyad, al fasih fil kalam. يَسْتَدِلُّ بِالشِّعْرِ بَعْدَ كُلِّ جُمْلَةَ لَهُ شِعْرِ 